I'm back with this little green scarf. So this video is about um, internships. It's probably going to be quicker than most of them because I just wanted to give you a tidbit on internships. And this is probably more informational for um, the part-time students than it is for the full-time students because you guys have time. The full-time students is who, um, who I'm referring to as you guys. You guys have time to go to the meetings about the internships and find out about this stuff and do internships throughout the semester and do summer internships and summer work and clerical work, um, legal work in the summer and everything else. I don't have time for that as a part-time student. Now, just because I'm part-time doesn't mean I don't have time for that. Um, but because I work, it also doesn't mean I have time for that. But because the way my work is, I work with students. I can't really go part-time. My job won't let me. It's either part-time or, or full-time or none. Um, and I can't really be like, so I'm going to be out of work from two to three and then I'll make it up and do like six to seven. I can't do that. I have to do eight to five. That's pretty much it. However, my job has decided to work with me and I do get to do a 4 p.m. class. So I leave at 3.30 and I don't, um, luckily my um, job is right down the street from the law school. That would be a little difficult if you had to go through some real traffic. Um, but I don't get to do um, daytime classes. So the earliest I can start is 4 o'clock which kind of helps me get out of there earlier, but it does not allow me to just kind of willy-nilly do a clinic or something like that. So if your law school has a clinic, externships, anything like that, meet with them. Now, let's be reasonable here. You're part-time, and I don't know how you feel about your program, but if your program makes it clear that, hey, you chose part-time, you may you just may not get to do this, um, then... No need of whining about it. Just figure out a way around it. So uh, basically, be reasonable. You're talking about, if you're talking about doing an externship or judicial clerkship with a judge, the judge, this is his job. He does not have to work with you and your silly little part-time schedule. Um, so what is probably best for you is to work with the school kind of like getting up it's kind of like the idea of do I want a waitress job outside of school or do I want a student worker job in the school student worker jobs their bosses they work for the school they're understanding that you're in, you have class you you are a student before you are an employee oh it's finals week go home early they understand that people outside you can't expect them to be like yeah we'll work around you I mean some some people do but a lot of people won't, especially like a legal office. They're expecting you to be like, hey, man, we work from eight to five. If you can't do that, we can't really. You're not. There's eight million other students that will do it for us. So keep that in mind. So what I decided to do was my school has a clinic um, where it works with underrepresented populations. Um, it's like it's a nonprofit um, public interest like small little law firm um, and what a great opportunity honestly that's what I want to do and so it can help me figure out like is this really what you want to do or is this in your mind um, so I decided to not do the other stuff because I was like uh, they won't work with me the way I need to be worked with um, I decided to do the clinic for two reasons. Number one, if I ask my job to do something that I know that they're not okay with doing, at least they'll be okay with doing it if I'm working within SLU. If it's within, like, it, okay, so at least they'll, like, basically, as, you, as you've heard, I work for the school that I'm going to. So if they will be more willing to work with that, that school, then um, I decided to try to give it a shot and see if they'll do it. So what they decided to do um, was, yeah, so in the summer we have students coming uh, to do like the incoming freshman thing. And they do that on like Monday and Thursday, let's say. So 
Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm a little freer in the summer because it's less students. I work with students. Um, so keep, keep your job in mind. Keep your, you know, tasks in mind, your slow times like that um, so that you can have something to present to your employer. I've looked at this. I've thought about my busy times. I understand. And if you're not with it, that's okay. But I just wanted to present this to you and see if I can do this. So for me, it's slower in the summer. Tuesday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Fridays, I may, might be able to, you know, dip away just a little bit. So I decided to do like 8 a.m. to noon, Tuesday and Wednesday, Friday, like noon to four to five. And they were okay with that. And I was able to say, it's just seven weeks. I'm done in seven weeks. That made them feel better. Like, give as much information as possible so they're not like, mm. Yeah, let us know how, how long it is first. Find out that, and then we'll come back and revisit it. You don't want to have to come back because that gives them time to think about it. That gives them time to say, remember, to get, get enough strength to say, uh, no. Have all your information when you go to your employer. So um, I had all my information, and what you have to do is meet with the internship coordinator. So I met with the internship coordinator because I wanted to explain to him I'm a part-time student. This is what I have to offer. Will you work with me? I understand that you have other stuff, but will you work with me? This internship coordinator is, like, great. Everybody likes him. And he, um, he was like, yeah, I understand. I'll work with you. These are the, what hour, just put down what hours you can do. Sign up for the internship anyway, and we'll work with you. Also, something that I wasn't aware of in the city, they have night court. So he was like, if you need to do night court hours, you can do those. And that'll give you time, your times that you need. So it really worked out well for me, but I had to I had to know my job. I had to know my downtime. I had to know my hours that I could work with. I had to know what my employer would go for. And I had to be there a couple, couple of years to slide this in on them. Don't think you're going to come in working for a job in a year and be like, can I get a favor? No. You need to build up something like they're a great employee. Let's, let's go ahead and do this for them, you know. So um, I, I thought about my job first, and then I took that to the internship coordinator. So I talked to the internship coordinator, and I um, basically, with um, working with him, I developed, here's what I need, here's what my job is not going to like, here's what we can do for you is what he said, here's the hours that you can do, here's the options that we have. I got all my information from him to take back to them to the official meeting with my bosses. And that, I was able to do an internship. Now, when you're doing an internship, you're going to be doing some legal work. And for me, the clinic that I'm doing, um, I'm actually going to be in court by myself working on some stuff with a supervisor, of course. Now, as a law student, you can't do legal work. It's a crime. You can't be somebody's lawyer. But under a supervisor... You can. So there's a rule. I think um, it's different ones in your state, but there's a rule that students um, can do and you have to fill out an application for it and all of that. Don't do that beforehand because they need to know who your supervisor is. Well, if you haven't even gotten accepted into the internship, you don't know who your supervisor is. They know that you have to have that paperwork done because they can't allow you to do legal work until they do. So they will make sure you get that done. Don't worry about that ahead of time. Um, but keep in mind that you will have to do something like that. Um, also, uh, I'm trying to think of the last thing that I needed to tell you about internships. But it's slipping my mind. And honestly, I think I told you pretty much everything. Uh, okay, so the rule that you have to do and then setting up everything, once that's done, you pretty much just sign up for it and you're good to go. Um, that's pretty much all that I did. I didn't do anything else. I didn't do anything extra, but um, being aware of all that, some jobs are like, yeah, if you can take your vacation, that's something you need to know ahead of time because if you took a vacation last summer for two freaking weeks and then you don't build up enough vacation from last summer to this summer to be able to do that internship, that's why you need to do, that's why time management and planning is excruciatingly important. Because if you haven't built up that time, um, you can kind of screw yourself out of some opportunities. If you haven't planned ahead of time, 
Um, you can miss opportunities. So make sure you build up your vacation if you're going to have to take vacation uh, or however that works for you. So just keep those things in mind for an internship. Um, for part-time students, I mean, you can do yours. Like, you know, each school has their rules. Like, you have to be halfway through your program. For us, that's like the third year, really. Um, for full-time students, you guys do yours, like, after the summer, in the summer. But um, it, it depends on the school and the, the different rules that you have to go by. I'm waiting. I waited to, like, my last, like, this summer I'm doing the clinic. In the fall, after the fall, I graduate. So that, that like, slingshots me somewhere, depending on where I, I did my internship. It will slingshot you through a door where you can tell them, hey, I've got one more semester, you know, and then you do a good job, and they may think about hiring you. So keep that process in mind, too. Um, you don't want to do something like, and then have to tell them, oh, I don't graduate for another two years. People forget about you. I know you think you're stellar, but people do. Um, so remember, everybody in law school made good grades. They were the top. They were the cream of the crop. So when you get in law school and you feel like an average student, well, hey, you're with the top of the top. Somebody's got to be average. Don't take that down on yourself. Remember that you're still in law school. Some people didn't make it that far. So um, just a, a little tidbit of uh, motivation, I guess you can say. So that's pretty much it with the internships. Um, if you have any questions about that, as always, leave them in the comments. Um, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.